Hey, it's me, Stop the Bean, and welcome back to some more Project Ozone Light. Yes, we are back here on the server, and we are joined by uh, Athanasius, uh, Brigham, Pasmanian Devil, and Way Way uh, Spirit just left the game, but there you go. Um, that's who's on the server, and guys, if you want to come and join the server, all you have to do is head on over to Patreon. Uh, the link is in the description down below, and uh, if you pledge the $5 tier or more, you will gain access to this server and whatever other servers uh, we've got going on for Patreon at the time. Um, but, yes, uh, if you are still enjoying this series, then please do hit that like button down below. Also, if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to. Come on. Um, yeah, come and join the family. Come and join uh, all, all the wonderful team here uh, at Project Dozone Light, uh, Stomp the Bean Incorporated, uh, Inc. and... and and uh, business. I, I don't know. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, let's just get on with some Project Ozone. Uh, so, last episode, we made this bad boy, the Carbon Jetpack, and uh, still have not powered it yet. Still haven't done that. Um, all I've done since last episode, because once again, I'm recording back to back, um, all I have done is literally sorted out the mounds of ores that I have here. And as you can see, they're all in my inventory, ready to go into the system. Uh, to be smelted down and turned into loot uh, because we are kind of doing okay uh, on all our loot at the moment. Yes, we are. Um, so I, I think the first thing we really need to consider is is let's get some flight going. So what I did beforehand was I just made a basic capacitor, uh, a redstone block, uh, four basic capacitors, and I need one of you and then if I do this and do that so there we go we have a capacitor bank uh, capacitor being American of course right so there we go so if we got a capacitor bank that means we can now store some power and if we can store power that means we can charge our jetpack by putting that in there please please stop yes you are taking on RF look at that bad boy uh okay so there are a lot of quests uh that have gone off uh because i made the uh the the capacitor bank there so i do need to have a look uh this is the last quest we did uh which was cobalt and ardite the uh the next thing is to make a deep storage unit i don't feel like i'm ready there yet uh i don't have the materials i can go and visit the deep dark i believe who was that i just somebody just walked past me I, I, somebody just walked past me. I know, I know, I saw somebody. Somebody. Are they, are they around here? No. Uh, oh, this is this guy's grown already. I've already received one piece of redstone from this. Uh, I, I swear, someone walked past me. Uh, right. Anyway, let me remove that guy. Uh, there we go. And uh, in actual fact, let's just set a waypoint for home uh, because we can now fly. So let's do new and let's do uh, stomps. Stops. I can't even spell my own name. And I capitalized it. S T O M P dash S. Stomps. Best. Base. Thingy Bob. Oh no, 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 gotta be a capital B. Bob. There we go. Stumps, bestest base, thingy Bob. Do well. Excellent. Right, so we now have waypointed the bestest base on the server. Obviously, I haven't been around and checked everybody else's out. Um, I would like to do that at some point. Um, you know, maybe uh, a little bit further down the series. Um, but yes, uh, okay, so let's. 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 Let's, I, I need better storage. I, I would like, I would really like, has that stopped pouring? Yes, it has. I would really like, uh, so if I put copper and platinum together, they shouldn't mix. I don't like uh, doing all this because I don't like them to mix. It, it, it confuses me and I get frightened quite easily. Uh, let's put those in there. So what was I going to do? Oh yeah, jetpack should be ready. Uh, well, that's taking some. Uh, okay, so we'll leave that doing that. Let's look at the quests and let's see where we are. So the Deep Dark Portal is something uh, that we could probably look into. Maybe go visit the Deep Dark, just go there and come back. 
Um, also, the cobble generator tier four. Um, I think that requires blaze rods. Let me just check. Cobble, cob, cobble, cobble. Uh, generator tier four is blaze rods. Can blaze rods be crafted? from molten cores that is it that's the only way i'm going to do that so a visit to the nether uh once again once i'm able to fly is probably going to be in order but let's um let's try and um and continue on with quest so we've got withered skeletons um yeah we're not really going to get there are we so let's have a look at this we have uh quite a few of these guys uh done so let's start claiming loot chests for all of these that i've uh completed so machine chassis there we go uh, I did this kind of automatically without actually needing to look at the quests how cool am I uh, sterling generator yes thank you that was a good choice uh, we'll take you there we go um, we made redstone alloy yes we did thank you very much and then alloying machine we shall claim that and we get half a heart for that as well uh, that is done so we can actually get somewhere into this pack Combustion generator uh, produces power through burning liquids. However, the machine must be cooled for it to begin producing any power. Interesting. We could set that up here uh, in some water or something like that. But uh, we do have uh, some half a hearts and stuff like that. I'll be honest with you. They're not really worth keeping. Uh, the, the, the thing is, we, we've got rid of uh, 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 questing mode off of here, off the server, uh, and, and we're going all, uh, well, not legit, but, I mean, we're, we're going all out with, uh, with just doing it how we want to do it. Right, so osmium won't mix with nickel, so we can probably uh, place a little bit of nickel in there. Let's open up these loot chests, because hopefully we're going to get something game-busting. Here we go. Ring of experience, not really that great. What else can we get? Skeleton charm, kind of rubbish. Uh, not really interested in that. What? What? That did not just... <laughs> that is just so not fair. Uh, never stars are fake. Uh, they're they're made out of enchanted cardboard. Oh my gosh, that that was mean. Uh, I got another diamond furnace. Awesome. I will take that all day. Uh, flask of adrenaline. Uh, what does that give? Haste. Nice. Uh, super. Yes. All right. Okay. Let's open these up. Uh, witch charm. Okay. And the last one is four carat plus which gives haste for nine minutes i got a superheating element a superheating element believe it or not now i've got to try not to break this instantly uh there we go and well, yeah i did exactly what i thought i would do uh a superheating element is fantastic that is fantastic i wanted to make this but there we go our lava rate is now 120 times what it was because of the superheating element. That is fantastic. That is that is that is worth it. For all of those, that is worth it. The Never Stars, yeah, not so great. Um, the Diamond Furnace, brilliant. We can surely make use of that somehow. We can actually hook that up to there and just get it automatically producing stone for me. So we'll put that there. Um, this is fantastic. This is fantastic. Okay, so Eulorian Block, you are now retired. Um, and let's just throw uh, all of the... Uh, I'm, I'm going to call it junk. It's not junk, but it kind of is at the moment because I don't really need it. Um, how are we doing with storage? Storage is not fantastic, is it? Storage is actually a bit of a bummer. I won't lie. Okay, well, never mind. Let's check out the jetpack. That is still not finished. It is, it is, it is getting close, but it's still not finished. Uh, we're still burning through our lava. Okay, so, because we're in the uh, endist revolution, do we get anything for mana? Because I know Britannia's in this guy. 
Uh, energy sticks, yeah, yeah, yeah. Generation revolution. Okay, that's uh, reactors. And mechanism. Now, I don't want to make the osmium compressor just yet. Uh, I would like to do the metallurgic infuser. We can actually get into that. Um, and that is actually a really good way of starting out with power. So, let's have a look at the recipe for the metallurgic infuser. Uh, metallur metallurgic infuser. There we go. Uh, so we're going to need some iron furnaces, which is furnaces surrounded by iron. We can afford that. The steel casing, on the other hand, a little bit of expensive. Um, do we have... Okay, so... Thermal foundation steel is made with steel blend. Steel blend is not able to be made. Let, let me see some ways of making some steel. S-T-E-E-L Steel, uh, no dark steel, just, just plain old steel will do me. Steel ingot from extreme reactors can be made with steel dust. Steel dust is a steel ingot into a pulverizer. Again, I, I don't want that kind of recipe. Um, okay, what other steels do we have? I mean, there must be, like, steel blend. How do we make steel blend? Only the pulverizer can tell us. Um, yeah, steel blend. Ah, induction smelter. So, pulverized charcoal and an iron ingot in an induction smelter. An induction smelter is invar. We can make this. Machine frame is iron, tin. Okay. Oh, now we're talking. All righty. Okay. So, uh, let's flip the switch there. So, invar is nickel nickel let me let me see the recipe for invar invar I, I, i'm sure it's nickel and an aluminium or nickel and uh iron ingot and nickel really that's all it is iron and nickel okay let's do uh let's do that let's just make it even uh i don't know why i did that there we go yeah uh, Is that, is that right? Was it was it one to one? No, it's two to one. So, twenty six. I need fifty eight. Two. Fifty two. Fifty eight. There we go. Let's go make some invar. I'm not even going to use the smeltery, even though the smeltery would probably do it quite quickly. Uh, I feel like this is the way. Yes, make me invar, please. There we go. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Right. Um, okay, so if we put that... I really don't want to do it, but I'm going to have to put some more chests down um, because we are fast running out of storage. Um, oh, I've got these over here I can start filling, actually. We've just... Did I... Did I see a shooting star? I feel like I saw a shooting star then. Never mind. Um, also, I have all these loot bags, so let's, um, let's open these bad boys while we're waiting. Uh, for some invar, let's just do this, do that. Um, maybe we'll get something good. I'm, I'm really happy I got the superheating element. Um, because if I can make a lava generator, uh, I can power my base on lava alone. Although, the worry is that lava uh, is, is a little bit on the uh, uh, carbon horse armor. Uh, that lava is a little bit... Um, I was going to say something about it. Uh, laggy is the word I think I was looking for. Okay, so we got Fortune 2. That actually is not bad. That actually... That actually is not bad because... If I am correct... Uh, can I apply... No, I can't apply that to a Tinker's. Okay, we'll we'll save that for some other time. I thought I could apply that to uh, to tinkers. What are the uses for end crystals then? Gets me a QE bit crystal from Quantum Flux. I have no idea. I'm sure we'll figure it all out eventually. Right, let's throw uh, you guys back into there. Oh, we got one more loot bag. This is a legendary. Let's open this guy. <laughs> Legendary? I don't think so. Uh, okay. So, we should have our Invar cooked up now. Yeah, there we go. We've got plenty of Invar. 
so it was um, we're trying to make steel right so uh, S T E E L uh, steel and it was the steel from this guy thermal foundation which we found if we put um, uh, in the induction smelter some pulverized charcoal and an iron ingot or we can use iron powder iron dust all of that um, then we will get some steel so let's grab what little bit of coal it's all about the coal today isn't it I mean I should automatically milk my my coal liquefacted coal cow over there but I'm not sure if that's a thing I'm really not right are we gonna get yeah we get pulverized coal um, okay we'll take the three that's gonna get us three steel but that's not enough uh, oh yes you beauty I love it when you find stuff like that that's great right there we go that's gonna get me that's gonna get me a bit of steel uh, so we need to make uh, the the furnace no we need to make the induction smelter uh, which the recipe was some pieces of invar uh, machine frame that can be done so let me just type in induction smelter uh, then we're going to need some invar gear some redstone reception coils this is so easy let's grab you let's grab you uh, we'll grab like a, a stack of iron uh, we need some sand smelting up. Have we got, have we got any sand? Have, uh, sand? Glass then? Glass? We'll take some glass over sand. I could have swore I had some sand. I know where the sand is. Oh, there's some there. No, no, sweet. Beautiful. Right, that's enough. That's enough. Right, let's just put those into here. Oh, we've got 10 spare coal. Hmm. Let's take a few of those. That's going to get me more steel, isn't it? I mean, I'd be a fool not to. I would be a fool. Oh, um, can we fly? Can we? Can we? Can we fly now? Yes. We now have creative flight. This is like creative flight. Anyway, uh, was feeling sorry for you. Not eating well. Enjoy, Hebs. <gasps> wow wow all right okay um okay so i will take the cheeseburgers and the hamburgers thank you so much but the rest of it i don't feel i can take i've already got the jetpack i really do honestly appreciate it thank you so much um but I'm not going to take it, and I'm not going to take the Wither Skeleton Skulls or the uh, Soul Sand. But thank you, thank you so kindly uh, for giving me some food. That is really awesome, and it's nice to be able to fly. Um, uh, cows, we have uh, we have a new cow. Uh, we've got Molten Cobalt. Uh, we've still got Dew of the Void, Vapor of Levity, uh, Refined Glowstone. Uh, what's this guy? Molten Alumite. Nice. Uh, that's a new guy. Uh, sap, uh, nutrient distillation, dew of the void again. Is that? I feel like that that was a double. We we still got blood. I don't know what I want blood for. Refined fuel. Excellent. Uh, we have molten brass and some tin. Yeah, tin. Li liquefacted coal. I I don't know whether I can turn that into blocks of coal. I'm kind of hoping I can. And if I can, I'll get him auto milking. But for now, uh, let's continue on uh, with what we were going to do. How's that doing for dropping power? Power, not too bad, actually. That's not too bad. I'm uh, I'm quite happy about that. And we have some food, so that's always awesome. Okay, so the induction smelter. So we're going to need to make uh, one of those guys. So let's get straight on with this. There we go. Let's do uh, this machine frame. So we're going to need a tin gear, which is iron, some tin. Uh, is this tin? I feel like that's tin. Is that tin? Tin? Aluminium. It would be, wouldn't it? Um, this must be tin then. No, that's iron. Do I not have? Do I not have tin here? That's fine. I'll go and grab some. Uh, I've got plenty in here. There we go. Let's grab uh, the five tin there. There we go. Cool. Okay, 
So now we have this, we should be able to uh, make some invar gears like so. One, two. Thank you. Um, and then the tin gear like so. And then if we do this, that will get us that machine core, machine core, machine frame. And then uh, with a bucket, which I already have in my inventory, lucky for me, uh, we have this guy. So now. Uh, if I place this just here, it should receive power. It does indeedy. And uh, do I have the iron on me? I do. So if I do 5 to 5, uh, which is um, 5 of these and 5 of you, we should make some steel, I'm hoping. Please work for me. Please, please show me the steel. And if it does, I'm going to take a break here. And yeah, um, I'm going to get set up for the next part. So give me a few minutes and I will be back shortly. Oh my gosh. Okay, so um, lucky for me uh, in the mob spawner downstairs, I had a few coal. Uh, I know it sounds cheaty. I really don't like it. I, I'm too honest for my own good. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I, I used the loot bags and um, uh, got some coal out of there. So yay for the loot bags. Um, okay, so now we have the steel. Uh, we can look at making the metallurgic infuser. So metallurgic infuser uh, is going to take some osmium, some conductive iron, which is iron and redstone. Uh, do we have any of that left? Um, conductive iron, iron and redstone. Uh, I know what we can do. Uh, let's go and check out our plant. Yay! Do we? Ah, oh, we didn't get a spare spare seed from that. That's a shame. Uh, so if we grab some iron, uh, we're, we're not looking good for redstone, but it's fine. Uh, we'll just fire this into here. Thank you for the invar. Uh, so if we go four and five, that should get me some conductive iron. Uh, we need the osmium, the iron furnaces. Okay, so uh, let's just grab a stack of you and a stack of you and make ourselves uh, some furnaces. We only need two. Uh, seriously, Hot Topic is, is a thing. Right, okay. Um, and if we take those and do that, there we go. That will get me the two that I need for that recipe. Um, I just need some osmium, the conductive iron, and a steel casing, which is some glass, some steel, and some osmium. Uh, once again, osmium is here, I believe. Um, Osmium it is. Okay, so we should uh, pretty much be able to do that to get me this. And then the, uh, we're missing the conductive iron, which I haven't made yet. Um, but there we go. We have it there. We'll take the redstone and put that back. Um, but if I do this and this, that will allow me to do that. And there we go. We have the metallurgic infuser, which is going to be like amazing. It's going to be the best thing since sliced bread. Let me grab uh, one of these because obviously uh, Imvar needs a place to go. Oh, I can fly now. I totally forgot. I can fly now. Um, so that's good. Uh, we could put Imvar in there. And um, uh, Tin's got a place, hasn't it? Has Tin not got a place? Okay, one. Oh, we've only got one spare. Let's just put that uh, right there for Tin. There we go. And uh, we're pretty good to go. I can, I can sort out all my ores and stuff like that now and have them automatically go from there to the controller because I can fly I can do it a lot quicker and in actual fact I might just do that I might just do that so we've got silver coming out of there is, is everything coming out of here okay uh, we've got molten lead molten silver yeah I think I might just do that um, okay so now we have this guy the metallurgic infuser that means that we can make things <laughs> we can make things uh, but I do need once again more coal so I think what I want to do is uh, can we can we try this can we I'm gonna try I'm gonna try something off camera right now uh, see if I can build it if I can um, then yeah we'll automate the coal because coal is 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 becoming a pain it certainly is, and that's where all my sand was. It was inside there. Um, so yeah, so I'll automate coal, and hopefully, 
we'll be good to go. So give me a few minutes and uh, I'll be back shortly. Okay, so I'm just getting this set up. I'm 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 not even sure it's gonna work. Um, I'd like it to, but I, I want to test it out. Um, yeah, I've got it. I've, I've just I've just got to test this out. So uh, okay, so we have some gravel. Uh, we have a stack of that. We have a stack of that. Uh, I am going to need some conduit binder. Uh, I need a crafting table for this, so let's do uh, conduit binder, uh, binder composite. Give me as much as that as it possibly can. Uh, we've got a stack, so let's, let's fire that into there, get some conduit binder going. Over here, uh, I have some pulsating iron, uh, which I'm then going to turn a few of those into nuggets. I don't need this many nuggets, but I'm going to take them anyway. Um, then I need to make myself some form of tank and there's one specifically I would like and that is this guy the fluid tank so uh, it's just some iron bars some iron and a piece of glass so let me just grab uh, let's, let's grab quite a lot of iron while I'm doing this let me fire uh, that into there so we can actually start taking that back uh, the I <laughs> get so many ink sacks, it's unreal. Uh, okay, so creepers can spawn on top of the nether pool. That's the thing. Uh, okay, so let me show you what I've got set up here. So I have two now liquefacted coal. Liquefacted coal, fluid cows. And then I have my mechanical user here set to right click on entity, which is going to get me a bucket of coal. What I'm then going to do is pump the coal fluid out and uh, put it into a tank. And then from that tank, I will then place it into a, uh, a, 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 a Tinker's Construct basin, uh, which will then turn it into coal blocks, which I can then put into a chest. And um, hey presto, we have lots and lots of stuff. What have we got going on here? That's refined fuel. We have vapor of levity. We have refined glowstone. Who's this guy? He's new. Nice blazing pyrothium. That's going to be handy. Uh, we've got molten alumite, cobalt. Uh, what's this? Vapor of levity. Nutrient distillation. I'm going to need you soon. Um, is, it, is this? I was hoping for an infinity. That's why I keep checking them out. Um, but that's good. Right. So, okay. So, I've got that set up over here. Hopefully... Uh, my binder composite is set. Let me just throw uh, an absolute ton of junk right now. Not really interested uh, in any of these alloys or anything like that. I just kind of need the space. So uh, the glass I will keep because I want to. I want to. I want to make my my thing pretty. And uh, you can go in there because I don't believe anybody can open you. Blazing pyrophium, I believe if you put it in a smeltery, it makes things work so much faster. Um, okay, so that is all done. That's good. Okay, so let's grab a stack of you. And if we do this, not quite that, but if we do this and then this, that should get me, yeah, that's good stuff. Uh, so I'll just throw those into there for now. Uh, and then I need to use the iron that I got to make this guy. There we go. Um, and then can we make the tank using the, the glass from here? Yes, we can. All right, sweet. Uh, let's get rid of that then. So I want to test it. Ah, I'm going to need some filters. Um, okay, uh, F-I-L-T-E-R. I just need... Uh, so two hoppers and some paper paper we have um, and we can make more out of all of these so that's not a problem uh, it's just the two hoppers which require some chests and some iron so let's get this going then uh, okay let's do the two hoppers so one two one two one two one two one two uh, that'll get me those guys let's turn all of that into paper because well I can um, and then if we take the hoppers like this there we go that's gonna give me the two filters that I'm gonna need and I can throw pretty much everything 
back in here and get rid of you. So, let's check this out. I'm, I'm kind of hoping this is not going to be buggy or anything like that. I'm kind of hoping this is just going to work perfectly. But we'll place our tank just here here and then uh, if we take our conduit and place that like so and we are going to place a filter just here uh, we're gonna need an empty bucket and I believe there'll be one in this chest there's not okay is there any empty bucket? there's an empty bucket that's beautiful uh, so what we want to do is if we put uh, this here and if we take this guy out of here, so we're going to say that only these things can insert. So we want that um, in out. So insert. Do I get my filter back? No, I have to take it out of here and then do in out. Put my filter here. So only inserted are these. What can be taken out doesn't matter. So we're going to extract on brown. Always active. So on here, we're going to do in and out again. And it's going to be insert on brown, extract on green. And we're only allowed to extract those. Always active. So if I then place this into there, that should get extracted, sent into here. And then the bucket should go back into here and get refilled. There we go. And it will go back. It will come to here. It will fill up this tank with two 2,000 millibuckets. And then it will go back to be refilled. Now, I don't know how often these cows can be milked. They're both the same. Um, and there's only two in the area. So hopefully it's not going to cause massive lag on the server. But we do have 2,000. So hopefully that will just continue to work for me now and i will get lots and lots and lots and lots of uh of liquefactive coal so all i need is do, 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 i need you and i need three of you one two three and all i've got to do is come over here and i'm pretty sure this works if i place this here with that there and then, uh, ah, I need a, a crafting table. I've got one just over here. Uh, so if I place a crafting table like so, I think this will work. I'm not 100% sure. If it doesn't, I'll, I'll figure out a way of doing it. Dude. Don't, just, don't. Don't do it. So I'm pretty sure I can do this. And that will pour into a block of coal hopefully i need to eat uh let's let's try one of these new burgers okay this is good stuff and there we go one block of coal so now coal is not an issue anymore coal is not going to be an issue um these should just continue doing that the whole time that i'm not on the server Hopefully if junk loading works and um, yeah, we're gonna get free coal or at least that tanks gonna fill and then I'll be able to automate it uh, By sending everything using now uh, These item conduits over to the, uh, the the master controller thing over there and um, Yeah, if I make some more of these um, these storage drawers we uh, we're gonna be good for coal so uh, yeah that's pretty awesome but guys uh, I'm gonna leave it there once more uh, if you didn't enjoy please do hit that like button down below also if you're new to my channel hit that subscribe button uh, come on join the family let's do it let's do it we'd love to have you um, and yeah uh, just you know thanks for everything as always um, if you want to come and join the server head on over to patreon link is in the description down below and um, yeah, if you uh, pledge the $5 or more, you'll gain access to this server and whatever server we start next. We've got a server in waiting uh, for a new series, so um, yeah, we'll have to figure that one out. But uh, yeah, like I say, that is the end of this episode. Um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I've been Stomp the Bean. This has been Project Dozone Light.